Hey, how you doing? Uh, so welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is basically me just showing you a photo shoot I just recently done. Right there. Um, basically, I just wanted to say that, you know, um, photography, you know, normally starts off with uh, an idea and evolves into other things. And basically, I had a, an idea. I wanted to do something with basketball. I went to my local sports shop and bought a basketball for five pounds. And, uh, and I set light to it. And I'll show you the picture now. So that was uh, the picture of me setting light to the basketball, which survived, as you've just seen, as I just showed it to you. Um, you know, it's done very well. But, you know, I wanted to do other things. Like I say, um, photography is creative. It's what you make of it. So um, I decided to take it a step further. So I went back to the sports shop and I bought um, some shorts and a top, uh, which I thought were basketball clothes, but apparently my son told me they were boxing. It was a boxing outfit, but it still it looked similar and it done the job. I think I paid about six pounds each for them. So it was about 12, 13 pounds for the outfit. Um, and all I did was uh, I had the shots in my mind what I wanted to do. I went along to a couple of basketball courts and uh, sort of had a look around and then uh, went along uh, yesterday morning with my wife who helped me out, you know, by pressing the shutter button, um, uh, set up my gear, which uh, you'll see in a minute because I've made um, some video, video footage of me setting up some of my gear and taking some of the shots and, uh, you know, where I placed the light and stuff. And uh, so you'll see that in a minute. It's about six and a half minutes long to so stay around for that. Um, and basically, I just want to show you what an amateur can do with just a bit of a creative mind, you know, and just uh, having some fun with it. I was going to do a free light setup, which I promised from a previous video, but due to it being a bit windy, I didn't want to risk all my gear. So I only set up the one light, which was a, a Yongyo 564 flash gun attached to a Godox battery pack, you know, to increase recycling times and battery life. And um, that was with my um, Pixapro Silver. 40 inch collapsible beauty dish which sets up in you know seconds really that on the light stand and I just wait down with my other light stands in a bag and uh, so when I got there after everything was set up I just um, positioned my Nikon D750 with my Tamron 15 to 30 ultra wide angle where I wanted it because uh, I knew what sort of shot I was going to do so I placed it in front of the basketball hoop looking up um, then I took some exposure test shots because um, I wanted to expose for the ambient light get that right just darken it down a little bit I had to be quick because the sun was coming up which was uh, behind me uh, well behind the camera uh, so after I did that I took a test shot with nothing in it no step no step ladder no gear um, so that was my base picture then I put a step ladder in the shot which we brought with us and then I just started jumping off the stepladder and pulling faces and having fun with my wife laughing at me and thinking I was mad. But um, you know, during this video, you can see some of the shots I got and what, what you know what's capable of just a flash gun. You know, and they're just a, a good idea. Uh, you will see that you know you have to be careful. I jumped off the stepladder, but where I was looking up at the hoop, I landed funny on my leg, and uh, my leg's still hurting. I've really hurt hurt that. But these are the, the things you do for photography. You know, to get them shots. So, you know, it was good fun. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that, you know, I, I, yeah, I only used the one night instead of the three, which I'm a bit disappointed about, but the shot still came out well. Um, you can see these shots uh, during uh, the video. Uh, and then we started off in the basketball court. And then after that, we just went along to a, a wall that was covered with graffiti, just a bit behind the courts, and just tried something a little bit different. Um, and just see what, what I could get, you know. Um, I had to take pictures of me because I don't know any basketball players. Um, yeah, I was, well, you know, a little bit overweight and stuff like that, but um, I was really pleased with how the shots came out. So, you know, please feel free, you know, ask any questions. You know, if you've got any more questions about the gear I use, uh, you know, my thoughts behind it, uh, what was happening, you know, just leave them in the comments section below and I'll try and answer them. You know, and if you like my videos, I've got more coming. I'm really getting into this, uh, filming stuff. Uh, yeah, I, you know, subscribe and leave a thumbs up. There'd be more coming. Uh, one other thing I will say about the video footage was um, I was hoping for to use my GoPro for a wider, give you a wider perspective of the the setup. 
on the basketball court, but unfortunately sometimes my GoPro turns on and doesn't turn on when it feels like it, and it always doesn't turn on when you really need it. So I had to switch my Nikon D7100, which I didn't have my ultra wide angle lens for that camera, the Sigma 1020. So I had the 2470 on the D7100 filming it, and I had to move it back to try and get what I could in. But I didn't want to move it too far back because I was worried about somebody coming in the gate and picking up and running off with it. So sorry it couldn't have been a bit wider, but you know, please uh, enjoy the video. And um, after the video, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.